Now guys, we're going to be uh, putting the bilge pump in. So, let's have a look. Down here, this bilge got a little plate there for it. And what we'll have is the switch like that and the bilge. Mate, perfect. It's made for it. So step one guys, you got to mark up your bilge so you know where to put your rivets. Switch here that we're using. We had the mount that we've just taken off the mount. So we can easily install. In there. Okay. And now we've got the markers, so we'll get ready to drill. Much better. Don't go to the bottom, mate. <laughs> to stop little off, uh, cut, off cuts of um, your braid or your mono or things like that, just leaves and stuff, blocking up your little propeller, put some fly screen over the top. So I'm going to give it a crack. So we're going to pop rivet these in now with the fly screen on the base because that would be the best way to do it. So a little trick, don't put your first pop rivet all the way in so you can maneuver it around. Little bastard again. Oh, that is nice. And this final be... piece. Up there in. she be. Eventually, that's going to sit over there. With this around the top and the sides. And over the back. Beautiful. With the cable tie, that's going to look nice. That's going to look real good. Now it's time for the switch. So for those of you who are interested, that's pretty much what it looks like. Ready. Right now we're going to put on the pipe for the bilge. We'll see mate. Oh, so that's going on very good. Just get a flathead screwdriver in there. Just marked out our hole. 25 mil. Here we go. Slide of the boat for the bilge. Hoy. There she be. She is there and good. Bit of silicon around the outside to make it good and proper. So she's not fitting on our hole nice, so we're gonna heat her up and it should expand a little bit so we can slide it right onto that. There she be. Not bad. Did you get it on further, you reckon? Yeah, I did. We're gonna be winding up the bilge pump now and uh, it's just a brief explanation of what we're gonna be doing. So we got Bilge pump wires here, active and neutral, and you got your float valve switch wires. Float valve, and that's your bilge there. Yep. yep. So I'm gonna just join these cables. Um, I run two twins, so I run these separately, two twins up to the switch bank with. Um, switch bank is there, and this is to keep it um, nice and waterproof. All those yeah, the waterproof joints sitting under the boat there in the water. And then that way they're the only joins on them. So yeah, I'll do them and tuck them away nice and neat and run them up to the switch bank. Cool. And what I've done so far is run the cables for the battery, um, the bilge pump, I've labeled everything, float switch. Oh, professional bilge, job. Cabin lights and nav lights. So far, that's all we've got. We need to get a park light in and um, yeah. So getting it prepped and ready, stripped back, ready for some soldering. Yep. Very nice. I can solder it right now. And now we add that little waterproof seal that I sh that over the top of the soldering joint so nothing's going to move. So we know that that is completely watertight.
and not going anywhere. So there's the bilge pump. Um, that's all cable tied up. All the cables are tied up out of the way. They're going to follow that line, the bilge pump line, all the way up. There's our joins. They're going to be reasonably out of the water for any mass amount of water that's going to come in here. How good. So this is the switch bank. Let's run us through the, uh, what we've done here. So that's, that's all your actives and all your neutrals, solid and made safe. Um, these are all your switched actives, so for your, your cabin lights, your uh, bilge pump is And they will be um, hooked up to the switches. Um, and they will be hooked up all along here for these switches. Yeah, so they, they'll be plugged in here, will they? Yep, so now we just got to find out where we want, so we prioritise what we want. So maybe navigational lights first, park light, then probably bilge third. Uh, this will all be labelled here anyway. Yeah, of course. So, you know, you won't have a hassle, I'm guessing, and Well, it looks nice and neat, and it looks quite good under there, how it all sort of works. She's a bloody, you know, she's really wide up, eh? All of the active cables. So all of the cables that are feeding in under here, so the ones that are going to the sounder, I've got battery, I've got, um, you can't really see that down there, but that's my bilge pump um, and my anchor light, they all come into one connection. So I had all these active cables coming off the switch that you can see here. All of these active cables all meet in one spot. So the battery and all the active cables are hooked up as one unit, soldered and made safe and that's how that works there. And then with the neutrals, the same there as well. So you probably, so all those neutrals, they're running from the battery and every single bit of wiring. So nav lights, anchor light, cabin lights, bilge pump, depth sounder, they're all soldered onto one section. That's the cable that's going to the battery. They're all just together. And so it's so much easier and keeps the wiring so much neater. So sounder wire comes in, the power is here, and then the neutral is all in this, all my neutrals are together. And then my actives that power everything from my battery are all together. So I'm getting all the power through here, and then I hook these switches up and that gives everything a circuit and a connection.